everyone, my name is Mr. Duel. Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. In this video, I'm going to be going over how I'm prepping for AR50 and just getting all my characters ready for the Ascension and getting them to level 90, the Mora, the Hero's Wits, the Weapon Ascension material, and the crystals that you're going to need, and the artifacts, and, and much more. So the first thing I want to just talk about is the Mora. Uh, with the Mora, you, I think roughly around ar40 between ar50 i would advise at least having two to three million mora and again the best way to do this is either one is through ley lines just grinding ley lines for a few days it's what i did i grinded roughly maybe three million in mora and ley lines like all i did was ley lines for a few days then the next best way is also just playing daily and just doing like events and just doing dailies grinding chests and just playing the game, but mostly from the ley lines and events that come from uh, MiHoYo, like the Unreconciled Stars event. I roughly got, say, maybe three to four million from that, including other events. It stacked up to maybe five or six million. So with the three million that I grinded out, and then the few million that I got from uh, the event, I'm roughly sitting around six million, uh, six and a half million. And this is with also upgrading artifacts along the way and upgrading some characters along the way as well. So it should have been roughly maybe around like 7 or 8 million, maybe a little bit more than that. <laughs> but once you kind of get that out of the way and you understand that, you know, you have enough Mora to actually level everything up, the weapons, artifacts, and your characters. Uh, the next thing is just figuring out the amount of hero wits you're going to actually need to level up these characters. So... If you're watching this video, you're probably already AR45 and you already, you know, have most of your characters at level 80 that you use for your team, like your main team uh, characters. So from level 80 to 90, you're going to roughly need 171 hero wits, 170, 174, roughly around that much. Uh, I'll put like information on the screen showing how much you need per level. And then same thing with the uh, weapons. Once I start talking about the weapons, I'll put a little um, like guide of how much resources you need. So knowing that I need like 171, I have enough for two characters at the moment to get to level 90 once I ascend them. So once you figure out and, you know, you've been doing events and getting, you know, stocking as much Heroes Witch as you can, which I highly advise. I would not advise just spending your Heroes, your heroes Witch just on any character. Uh, just try to save it for the characters that you, you like, your main characters mainly, or the characters that you're going to use for the main team. And then, of course, you're, you're probably going to have a little bit extra if you've been playing since release. So if you've been playing since release, then you should definitely have around this much. Maybe more or less, depending on how many characters you, you leveled up. Here, let me show you. With the, uh, I have 160 or 362. And then on top of that, I already spent a few hundred to get a lot of characters level 80. So here, so I have Diluc level 80. I have Child level 80. I have Zhongli level 70. Barba level 80, Venti level 80, Ning one level 80, and Faisha level 80. So knowing that, and I still have 362, you actually get a lot of Hero Switch for just playing the game and doing events, you know, doing the commission dailies and uh, finding treasure chests and stuff like that. You do get a lot of them. Uh, I do not farm the ley lines. I have not spent, I maybe, I spent maybe like maybe 30 or 40 hero switch on ley lines but other than that i haven't really spent a lot of my resources into ley lines i would just highly advise to wait for events because normally events give you a lot more of the um, hero wits than the ley lines do and you'll be saving a lot more resources that way so just try to do your best to actually do the events and get the resources from those it's what helped me so much with uh, leveling my characters also just Make sure that you're leveling characters that you really need. As you can tell, I don't have a lot of characters level 40 or 50. Just because I don't like spending my resources on these characters, knowing that I'm going to need my resources on the characters I really do need to help me grind either bosses or just mobs in general. I don't want to spend my resources thin. So you definitely don't want just a ton of characters at level 50 and then you have zero heroes wits. It's just not worth it. I'd rather have a few characters really high level and they're able to actually help my supports out. So the way I see it is have your two DPSs. In this case, it's going to be my Diluc and my Faisal. Uh, they're both going to be level 90. And then I'm going to have Venti and Barbara. 
Uh, so my supports are level 80. You know, they don't need to do a lot of damage. So I don't really have to worry about leveling them up and uh, getting them to 90. But if I get my Deluke and my Faisal to 90, their damage output is going to increase and it's going to make the content a lot easier once I get to world level 50 or world level 7 and a, uh, AR 50 once they're ready to ascend. So just manage those uh, heroes with wisely and make sure that you're leveling characters that you know that are going to help you in the future content and make like grinding way more effective uh, because you could definitely spread all your resources thin but once you do that it's going to make grinding less effective and it's going to be a little harder it's not that it's not going to be impossible but it's definitely going to be a lot harder so just keep that in mind and then once you have that kind of sorted out you understand what character to send what's next is the ascension material and for the ascension material this shouldn't be too hard to get the character like the world like the monster drops for this one specifically i do have a guide i'll post it in in the description and as one of the little like info icons in the video little pop-up you can check that out there's like a round that grinds almost every single type of monster so far in the game from the fatui agents fatui electro system mage you know the fatui skirmishers the ruin guards ruin hunters uh the geo uh, hatchlings i can't remember the first part of the name and so on so just follow that uh guide it's for ar35 plus and you can definitely get a ton of these if you uh, do it daily of course this is pretty easy it, it kind of tells you where they're at i shouldn't really have to explain that and then for the ever flame seed and any of the actual boss drops uh, i would highly wait until ar48 for these you don't have to do this right away at 45. i just don't even advise it you can to get it out the way to be honest if you want i would hi once you get to 45 with the spare resources you have after you, you know you have enough mora i would go for artifacts so this is going to be like 48 49 when th once you're kind of right around the corner from getting to AR-50, because uh, this, this, these two take maybe like two or three days. It's not too hard. Uh, they seem kind of hard, but it's not. So once you have that, you know you're going to level up, you know, your main character. The next thing is, you know, making sure that you have his resources for his weapons as well. This one, again, this will take maybe like two or three days, depending on how much you play and how much resin you're willing to spend on it. Right now, I just did three fragile resins, and then now I'm going to go ham tomorrow, because... It's Tuesday today, but tomorrow's gonna be Wednesday, and I should be able to knock this out. Uh, hopefully, we'll, we'll see. But I'm hoping that we could get this so I can get this to 90. And of course, this is just with the normal farming route guy that I was talking about earlier. So just check that out, and you'll be able to get these pretty easily. And then the next thing is the actual like do you want? same thing as the hero's wits. Um, if you do events and if you're grinding daily, doing commissions and stuff like that, if you're doing that daily. Uh, you should roughly have play around a thousand from the start of the game. If you just start now, just grind daily, uh, look for mining routes, uh, grind those routes daily, do daily expeditions for your team, like the ones you send characters out, do those daily, and these will start stacking up pretty quickly, uh, as long as you're not, again, mismanaging any of your resources. That's like the main issue that I see with a lot of people. Uh, they try to upgrade multiple weapons or stuff that they probably don't need to use at that moment. So just make sure that you're micromanaging everything and understand where you're putting your resources properly. And it's gonna, it'll, it'll make the game a lot easier further you get into it. But yeah, you should have roughly around, if you, you know, started the game and you've been grinding daily and you're roughly around AR 50 like I am, you should have roughly around this much. Uh, but it just depends if you're, if you have five star weapons, because five star weapons actually use more of the Mystic Enhancement Ore than four stars. I don't have any five stars, so. And I think it's going to take roughly or maybe like 150 to 200 of these. Um, again, like I said earlier, I'll put like a little um, picture here showing you the amount of uh, resources you actually need uh, to level up the weapons for four and five stars. So you could kind of have a, um, a little understanding. Yeah. And yeah, once you have everything set before you get to AR-50, then once you, you know, ascend and then get your character level 90 and then you do the world rank level 7, then everything should technically be a little easier for you. You know, it should be still as efficient as the previous world rank. Uh, but if you've been mic mismanaging your resources and you can't get characters level 80, you can't level up weapons and like uh, to level 90 as well and characters level 90, then it may be a lot more difficult for you. Not impossible, but definitely a lot more difficult. So just you make sure that you're spots. micromanaging I everything as, as best as you can. Uh, and then uh, one last thing is really the artifacts. I want to kind of just briefly go over. You don't need the best artifacts. Try your best to get uh, really decent, like decent artifacts for your character. Don't upgrade artifacts that are really bad placeholders. Like there's placeholders like this. This is would be considered a placeholder. Um, 
because it has a crit, you know, crit rating for damage, but I don't want HP and I don't want defense for D Luke, you know. So this is just a decent placeholder. I uh, try to get a decent placeholder. I would say minimum two at best. Um, I would prefer three good stats. HP is not that bad, but defense, I don't I don't like defense. Just again, but don't be too picky as well. Like two should be reasonable, you know. Like see, this is a pretty decent one. This has three that I really enjoy. The 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 base attack could be percent. It would be better, but I can't be, you know, too picky. This would be a good placeholder until I find the perfect set. And again, look, I still have purples and I still do the content extremely easy, I would say. It's not difficult at all at uh, where I'm at now. Uh, some characters were luckier than others because some pieces were given to me by leveling up through AR ranks and just bosses. So like Chow got a got more pieces than my D-Loop just because uh, of just RNG and just that chance. But again, just don't, again, don't be too picky, but don't worry about artifacts too much. I wouldn't just hard focus artifacts, but between like AR-45 to AR-50, grind some artifacts until like maybe AR-48. And then from there, start grinding the Ascension materials for your character you're gonna level up. Again, make sure you do have enough more on heals wits for the characters that you are gonna need for 90. And then from there, you know, just bang it out and hopefully everything will still be as efficient. You should still be able to grind everything a lot easier, hopefully. I haven't got there yet. I will put my opinion about that once I get there. Uh, but hopefully this insight uh, helped you guys out. Hopefully you guys, you know, just get prepped up and ready uh, if you're getting to AR-50. And yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, hope you guys um, just remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Yeah.